Hello everyone, um, we have a nice test today with will be Avast Premium going up against Malware Bytes Premium. So for Avast on the left, let's have a look see at the settings. Okay, so for our exception, we have three here. It's for the website um, to rename a couple of files and then to execute the malware. No apps or anything is blocked. Okay, so under protection. So when we're going to do a full scan, we pretty much selected everything. Okay, so for the core shields, um, pretty much as, as high as it can go. For behavior shield, web shield, mail shield, obviously we're not going to test. Uh, PUPs and cyber capture is also enabled. Okay, network inspector, remote access shield, um, ransomware shield, smart mode, uh, protected folders are these ones. Okay, so I think that's about it for the protection modules. Um, we can maybe have a look at the privacy. Sensitive data shield and etc. Oh, and firewall um, is enabled. And the real site is also enabled. And the sandbox feature is also enabled. Okay, so that's. Um, for um, Avast, let's have a look at malware bytes. Okay, so under security, um, updates is one hour. Um, scan options are all selected. It's in the Winner Security Center. PUPs and PUMs um, are enabled. Brute force protection is enabled. Exploit protection is enabled. Um, under advanced settings, I did not make any customization changes. I'm just leaving it as is, um, but it is enabled. Protected applications are also on default. And that's about it. Okay, so that's about it for, for uh, malware bytes. Nice, quick and easy. Going to just disable the protection for these two so that I can um, extract the malware and start this test. Okay, so now that all malware has been extracted, so we'll be testing 2357 or 58. There's one malware missing on the right, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, okay, so I think it's time for the programs to be updated. Okay, I'm just still waiting for the best. Seems like malware bytes is up to date, I think. Yeah, malware bytes up to date. Okay. Um Avast is also up to date, so that's good. I think it's time to enable the protection. I'm just doing them slowly one by one. Let's maybe enable a vast in the meantime. Okay, so vast is happy, it says it's protected. Just wait for malware bytes. Okay, all the modules for malware bytes is up to date. Let's just check the security center. Okay, took some time to update, but they are ready to go. Okay, so as you guys know, the first test is the website test. And uh, let's just uh, Make sure, yeah, everything's on. So let's do the website first. Okay, 
Okay, we just have to wait for the pages to load. Vast is already giving us notifications. Okay, I'm just going to wait for all these pages to load, then we'll look at the results. Okay guys, so I just had to rerun the test for Malwarebytes. I think the browser was maybe stuck. I think there was too many tabs opening up. Um, so while we wait for Malwarebytes, let's have a look here at um, Avast quickly. Okay, so it seems like a vast has blocked all the pages. I'll just hit and close that. Okay. Ah, sorry, wrong one. So while we wait for malware bytes, let's just quickly check the downloads folder. Okay, so nothing in the downloads. Let's see malware bytes quickly. Okay, nice and visual. Uh, this is one feature that I do actually like about Malwarebytes is they make sure that you can see on the website that it's definitely blocked. You don't have to guess. Okay, so that's nice and easy. All of them blocked. And let's look at the downloads. Okay, so I think Avast is already quarantining the malware in our test folder. Okay. So nothing downloaded, those are the old um, Kaspersky removals. Okay, so that's cool, nice and clean. Now I think it's time for the malware test. I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting test guys. Um, I'm just going to attend to this malware. We've got quite a bit of malware. Hopefully there aren't any problems. If anything funky happens, I'll let you guys know, but for now, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Okay guys, so I'm suspecting it's not looking good for malware bytes at this point. It's trying to execute malware, which obviously the extension looks like ransomware, but I'm not going to look at it now. Uh, malware bytes wants to reboot to process threats. I'm going to be lenient towards malware bytes today. Um, I'm going to let it reboot. Maybe it can stop the infection from there on, but as you guys can see, so I'm suspecting it's one of these that might be causing the issue so I'm just gonna reboot it um, Avast is still fighting away a um, couple of malware executing as you guys can see but nothing major um, so far it seems good for Avast but malware bytes um, not so good um, as I've mentioned um, funny extensions so I'm gonna restart it quickly and then continue the test Okay guys, so it seems like the fight is over for Avast as well. Um, there's also a ransomware infection on Avast, so I think I'm gonna stop the test. I'm gonna close all of this. Um, you guys know me by now, as soon as I see this ransomware infection, then there's no point in continuing the test. So, um, I'm going to restart these machines again, or um, malware bytes again but for a vast I'm gonna restart it and then we are going to update them and then um, start the full scans and the third-party opinion scans but I'm not gonna continue executing the malware so let me restart these machines and then we'll continue the test okay guys so the full scans are completed so for a vast we only found um, this one found a template file and obviously it's cryptos so it's got to do with ransomware um, for malware bytes um, we obviously have a couple of files here under update roaming 
Um, there's a process module here as well, or a couple of them. And then under downloads and then a registry key. So I'm just going to quarantine quickly them. Okay, while we wait for that, let's look at the versus startup items. Uh, and the VMs are um, extra slow, so I apologize if something takes long to open up. Okay, so everything is opened, so let's quickly see startup items for them both. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything funny startup items for a vest. Uh, let's quickly see what's running. Okay, doesn't seem like anything's running. For malware bytes, we obviously have this one, two pro items here. Um, but it does want to restart, so we'll see after the restart. Um, let's see if anything funny is running. Okay, so we do have a couple of um, threads running here still. Um, but Malwarebytes wants to restart, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to restart it. I'm going to restart a vest as well. And then we'll start with the third party opinion scans. Okay, everyone, so the results are in. Took quite a bit of time for these um, things to scan. The VMs are really slow. So for um, VAST, Heatman Pro found nothing. So we'll close that. For Malwarebytes, um, it seems like um, in Malwarebytes itself, there's something suspicious. Might have been um, Malwarebytes as um, one of the um, EXEs were modified or tampered with. Um, runtime broker is also suspicious. Okay, for Norton, uh, program files, uh, program there with a library file and app data, uh, CMD, and then same one, also Marshall, and then obviously a couple more, and then we do have this pop-up for the runtime broker. Okay, let's close that. Okay, so Komodo's quick scan, found nothing. Uh, same on this side. Okay, for Kaspersky, um, no objects were detected. For malware bytes, um, the runtime broker was detected. Okay, let's just move that out of the way for now. Okay, MSISoft found nothing. Um, MSISoft did find um, these two files, these MSIs under Windows. Uh, let's just close this as well. Okay, and then F secured found nothing, and F secured also found nothing on this machine. Let's just close that. Okay, so now let's quickly have a look see at what our startup items are. Okay, so I just had to wait for everything to open up. So for a vest, doesn't seem like there's anything funny. I'm starting up and uh, let's quickly see what's running okay okay so for malware bytes we obviously have this there's the runtime broker and then we have this and then the thunderbird so we do have a couple of startup items Let's see if there's anything still malicious running. Okay, yeah, so runtime broker is still persistent. Let's see what who says this mal uh, this is malware. Is that? Okay, let's have a look see. Okay, so a vast 
uh, AVG, ESET, Fortinet, Kaspersky, uh, even MaxiCure picks it up. <laughs> uh, McCarthy and uh, Rising, the rest is undetected so far. So for um, install programs, um, for a vast, we obviously have this installer that I can see here. Um, for the um, okay, so for malware bytes, um, we do have quite a couple of installers here. Um, so a couple of things have installed. Let's just quickly close that up. Okay, so now we need to look at the results. Okay, so now that we are looking um, at the results for downloads, um, there was nothing for um, Kaspersky, so for malware bytes, as you guys can see, there's ransomware infection there. Uh, for documents, ransomware infection, ransomware infection, so um, it does not seem like it's completely the same extensions, as you guys can see, SYC, BTT, but I think it's still the same um, type of ransomware, maybe just a different family. But you can see the um, file types are different though. Okay, pictures. And pictures are infected. Pictures are infected. Um, and when I do submit the ransomware samples, um, it is undetermined, so it's a good chance that it's fairly new ransomware, that this type of ransomware has not been really reported yet. Um, so that is that chance, but yeah, okay guys, so um, disappointing results from them both um, Of all honesty, I When I started the test, I already knew Malwarebytes <laughs> was going to be disappointing Because, yeah, Malwarebytes of late has been really disappointing um, It's never been for me one of the really good AVs um, They still need to step up their game um, I would say they're below subpar at this point So very disappointing from Malwarebytes but also very interesting and disappointing from Avast. I don't really think Avast will succumb to the same problem, but, uh, but obviously it did. Um, so there's a lot of cons. I can't really say anything positive about these two today in this test. They were really both disappointing. But yeah, I, I hope you guys find or found this test very informative. Let me know for other tests and what you guys thought about this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.